what is good everyone we are back with another video and today i'm going to be reacting to the top 100 ratings in nba 2k25 starting off with 100 through 91 starting off with Jaden mcdaniels he's the 100th player in nba 2k25 shout out to him i guess but he ended up finishing off as an 80 overall which i'm kind of surprised why he went down I believe in 2K24 at the moment, he's like an 81, 82. He was really good in the playoffs and a huge part of the Timberwolves, obviously huge playoff run to the conference finals. Kind of, you know, surprised about that. Keegan Murray has an 80 as well. Um, felt like, yeah, he is an 81 in 2K24. Kind of surprised why he went down as well. Derek Lively, another guy that was really important in the Western Conference Finals, but for the Mavericks, obviously, I feel like an 82 could be a little bit better than that. 81 and then Jalen Dern has 81 I'm fine with I guess Nick Claxton was a really good defender he's looks like he's also going now he's at 83 to get 24 another weird thing Daniel Gafford and Lively have the same overall I guess it's fine right but Nikola Vucevic is a 81 Harden Shine is a 81 Nas Reed has a 81 and Miles Bridges has a 81 so it seems like they just put all the bigs as like an 81 overall 2k being lazy of course but I guess I'm fine with Nikola Vucevic being a 81, obviously. You know, his team is pretty bad. He hasn't really been the same since he, you know, left the Magic. Because they are hard and shine. 81 is cool and all. Nas Reed, I mean, I guess 81 is fine. The Miles Bridges is 81 is also cool with me. Now we got the 90 through 81 overall rating, starting off with 90 being D'Angelo Russell. I mean, don't get me wrong, D'Lo is obviously not the best player in the playoffs, but were y'all watching the same D'Lo last year? Like, is he really the same overall as like a 39-year-old Chris Paul at this point? I don't really think so. I feel like D'Lo is an 83, maybe even an 84. I don't know about that. Probably like an 83 is like the perfect rating for him. Devin Vassell averaged about 19 points a game last year, almost 20, and was really good for the Spurs. So I feel like an 84 could be really in the range for Devin Vassell. And Chris Paul is an 81. I don't know, man. I feel like maybe like a 79. Now, Andrew Nimhard's 81 is completely fine. They could need to prove a little bit more before you rate him a little higher than that. Then RJ Barrett as an 81. I mean, he's like an 83, I believe, in the game right now. I don't really see the point of him going down at all after having a really good season with the Raptors. Klay Thompson as an 81. I'm perfectly fine with going 0 and 11 in an elimination game, big bro. Yeah, 81 is totally fine, man. Brandon Miller should be higher than freaking Andrew Nimar, man. Like, let's be real. Brandon Miller, they were talking crazy about him into the draft, man. They were, I don't know, they said Scoot Henderson was better. Obviously, that's not the case right now. Um, But, yeah, you better be, Hornets fans, you better be glad you guys did not pair Scoot and LaMelo together. Not the guy, it's a terrible fit, man. I feel like an 83, 84 is fine for Brandon Miller. Austin Reeves is an 81. I mean, don't get me wrong. Reeves, uh, Reeves is a really good player, but he should be higher, man. He should be higher. I feel like him, he, he should be an 84. I'm just saying, he should be an 84 overall. That's my personal opinion. Anthony Simons is a bucket, man. Anthony Simons is average almost, or he averaged more than 20 points per game. My opinion, that's 83, 84. And then Mike Conley as the 81 is fine. You know, nice veteran piece for the Timberwolves. I like that. All right, now we got the 80 through 71 ratings. So, hitting off with the 80, we got Emmanuel quickly as a 81 overall. Very interesting here because another guy on the Raptors that should be a lot higher, but I guess at 82, maybe. I feel like at 82 is fine. 82 is like perfectly fine. At 81 might be too low, but I can kind of agree with quickly being 81, I guess. So, Cameron Thomas is it? Are we our last? Were we watching St. Cameron Thomas last season? What is 2K? Like, I don't understand, man. It looks like if you're on a bad team, your overall just isn't good. Cameron Thomas is one of the best scorers in the NBA, and he is a 81 overall. Okay, 2K. 84 is fine. 
Kobe White as an 81, another guy. He should have won most improved player. We all know Max, he shouldn't have got that award. Max is a good player, but Kobe White is literally the definition of a most improved player. Right now, they're talking about Wimben Yama as the front runner to win most improved player. There's so many things wrong with that. And, you know, that award, it just doesn't mean anything anymore. It's a broken award. It's a functional. But Kobe White is an 81, man. Like I said, you know, really good, really good player in general. He should be a lot higher than that, man. Valanchunas is 82 is fine. Zubaj is 82 is okay, like I said. But now we got the crazy one. Darius Garland as a 82. I know Garland had a down year, but come on. He's in the same convos as Alex Caruso. Bro, don't get me wrong, man. Alex Caruso is a good player and all. But come on, man. Garland, Garland is literally a bucket. Come on, man. I know, like he said, he did have a down year. But there's many reasons why he should not be a 82. He's a good player. Like, I feel like, I don't know. This is a little bit of a down year. He got injured, and they just lowered his rating. If he wouldn't have got hurt, he probably would have been a lot better. Trust me. They're going to see the real Garland this year. The two guys are going to stop disrespecting Darius Garland, man. And then Jeremy Grant as an 82. I can be okay with, you know, Jeremy Grant. Um, I Maybe an 83, but I guess I can live with Grant being an 82, I guess. Not the worst rating. Herb Jones as an 82. Herb Jones is just a really good player in general. I wouldn't mind him being an 84. I'm not going to lie with you. Good defense. He averaged 11 points. Good three-point shooting, obviously. I mean, so it's a great player you'd want on your team. And then Jalen Suggs is an 82. I mean, Suggs is a good player as well. I'll be comfortable with him being around Herb Jones. Get 84, and then Alice Caruso, I guess, is fine at 82. But I feel like he could be higher if they really want him to, but that's cool. Now we got rating 70 through 61 here. So starting off at 70, Josh Hart is at 82. I mean, if Derek White could be a freaking... No, let me not go that far. I didn't say it, but if Derek White could be almost a 90 overall, I feel like, you know, Josh Hart could be 85. I just can't lie with you, man. Not Drayden is 83, I'm fine with. Not really, you know, that good of a player. I can't lie, I'm really that good of a big. Um, Desmond Bain is an 83. I feel like he'd be 85, I'm not going to lie. He's a really good shooter. You know, T-Rex Arm is still a good player. MPJ is an 83, I'm fine with. Not really more than a role player there. Kuzma, you know, putting up good, good numbers for a great team or putting up good numbers for a bad team, you know, I meant to say. Um, is cool and all, you know, 83 overall, I mean, I guess. And then we got Draymond Green, he's 83. Ah, I said Draymond, role player, nothing really more than that. 83 is fine. Um, Teller Hero, we got an 83 overall for him. Man, back in the bubble, I thought Hero was going to be like a 95 by now. I was a fan. But, you know, I guess the 83 is fine by the way he's been playing lately. 84 could be there, but let us slide. Zach, Zach Levine is the 83. Man, I think Levine is going to prove the whole world wrong. Man, it's because he got hurt. Doesn't mean, no, it doesn't mean he's literally the worst player in the NBA. That's how people are seeming like he is. The miles turn out of 62. Really good in the playoffs. I feel like an 85 is reasonable. Aaron Gordon is 84. It's fine. Okay, so now we got 60 through 51. So, starting off with 60, Steve McCollum is 84. It's fine. You know, I mean, he I mean, he did. Didn't he miss a shot in the playoffs? I don't know. I, or am I getting confused? But I don't know. I know about but 84 is completely fine off him. Okay, so Jared Allen now. Okay, so I'm about Jared Allen, you know. I, you know, he's a really good defender. I don't know about an 84. I feel like an 85 is just completely perfect for him right there. So, playing Jared Allen's 85, in my opinion. Then James Harden has an 84. Dude, the disrespect the beard gets. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's not the same, obviously. Not not at all. He's not MVP, 36 point per game, James Harden anymore. No, no, no. But I feel like he could be at least four overall. So, I feel like he could be like an 87, 88. I just can't lie. I mean, numbers might not show... But he will have a good season this year with no Paul George. You're gonna have to depend on him to do a lot, and he'll he'll pull boost up. Trust me. Van Vliet is 84. I mean, I don't really get how he's you know higher overall than D'Angelo Russell. I feel like I would rather I would definitely have you over for Van Vliet right now. Like for, it's many m many reasons why, but you know an inefficient point guard that really can't defend too well. I I don't know. I feel like an 82 maybe. And then Jalen Green. We're seeing a lot of Rockets plays, but Jalen Green. I would probably, you know, have him as, like, an 84. Still has a lot to prove in the league. He did have a very good end to this season. OG Ananobi as an 84 is fine. You know, not much more than a role player, obviously. 84 is completely fine with me. 
Um, then Mikael Bridges is at 84. I feel like you could, you know, argue could be at 86, 85. But I'm keeping them as a 84, in my opinion, man. Him and OG, likely the same player. I'll just keep them as a 84. Chris Middleton as a 85. Didn't hasn't really been the same player. I probably put him as like a 83 next to you know I probably would, but I guess 85 is following Middleton. Still a good player. Bradley Beal as a 85 is fine. You know I'm not putting him up or down. I'm just leaving him as a 85. Man, he's had it been the same. Then Goldbeard as an 85. I mean, you're sure, right? You can't put him lower or higher than that, right? Now we got 50 through 41. So the 50th ranked player is Alfred Shangoon as an 85. He could be higher. I feel like he's like a mini, you know, type of so bonus mini Jokic. So I feel like he'll be a lot higher when the season starts. And we did finish the season off injured. So I'll keep him as an 85 right now. Mentoring him as an 85 is fine. You know, he didn't really do much, you know, during the season. He kind of had a down year, not going to lie. Only 20 points. Average 25 the prior year. And then Julius Randle as an 85. I'm not the biggest Randle guy, but I guess an 85 is cool because... And then with Scotty Barnes, I feel it'll give you a lot higher than that. Scotty Barnes, mm, yeah, they, they have been they've been cooking on the top fifty to 40, 41, Not gonna lie, Scotty already eighty five is fine. Mobley has an eighty six. I mean, I feel like he's gonna have a really good year this year. You know, if he gets an offensive bag, dude, Anthony Davis ceiling. I'm gonna just say that. Now with Derek White, man, like. I don't know. I feel like a role player being at 86, like there's so many. Like, let's, let's talk about this, man. We'll have a conversation for a second. Is Derek White better than Brandon Ingram? Is Derek White better than. De like, for DeJounte Murray and Derek White to be in the same conversation, it's kind of disrespectful to DeJounte Murray. And no hate on Derek White. I like Derek White. I actually really like him for the Celtics, man. Great defender, great shooter. You know, he'll give you a bucket, maybe even 20 points here and there. But he's not better than DeJounte. He's not on DeJounte Murray's level. I'm sorry, man. Like, if I were the Celtics and I could trade Derek White for DeJounte Murray, I actually might do it. And I'm being so serious when I say that, man. I just don't think Derek White is on that level. Like, 84 is fine. I'm, I'm keeping Derek White um, in OG and Anobi, Mikael Bridges talks, not freaking DeJounte Murray and, you know, Evan Mobley. And then, yeah, so... J Dub, Jalen Williams. I yeah, that, that can't be Jalen Williams. You know, the center that has to be the power for Jalen Williams, right? No way. But Jalen Williams, yeah, obviously J A L J A Y. Anyway, um, Jalen Williams is a eighty six overall. I'm fine with that. And then we have K Cunningham is a eighty six. I feel like it could be a little higher. I feel like an eighty eight, eighty seven is more respectable. Eighty seven overall. Now we got forty through thirty one. So. We got um we got the fortieth ranked player, that player being Lori Markinen of the Utah Jazz. I mean I, I mean like I said, bro, Markinen has been at eighty six for I don't know how long he's been at, not eighty six since, you know, that breakout season in Utah. He's higher than that. He's a eighty eight, eighty he could be even a ninety on the other days. Markinen is that good. Markinen, I'm sorry to say this, but he's better than freaking DeMar Duro. At this point, man, he's he, he, he should be like an 89, 88. I'm sorry. This is disrespectful, man. Or Mario is 86 is insane. Triple J, 87. I'm cool with that. You know, he probably, he averaged 20 points, but like the whole team is injured. Like he, I feel like he could definitely get better. But I'm following him in 87. Jamal Murray, not going to lie. He's been pretty bad for Team Canada and pretty bad other than that Lakers series. Of course, he goes off against my Lakers, but it's not my Lakers rant to that. It's coming soon, but... Yeah, I feel like a 85 is fine for Jamal Murray, like, by the way he's playing right now. Um, and if he continues to progress, I feel like he can go down, 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 like a Russell West. But I don't know about that, but, you know, Porzingis is a 87. I feel like it could be a 88 overall. Chet Holmgren, you know, not the best rebounder at all, but I guess 87 is fine. Why not? Throws and that's 87 is cool. Drew Holiday is at 87, you know, he's definitely up there. Um, I guess it's cool. Holiday's a good player, but I could say something about Derek White, man. I might push him down to a 84, but Lonzo Ball, no, 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 obviously it's not Lonzo Lamello, bro. 87 is fine. Just so you stay healthy. Cat is 88, it's fine. Siakam, he, Siakam could be a 90, you know. So now we got the 30 through 21 ranked players in 2K. We're slowly getting to the top 10. So, third, we got Zion Williamson. So, I mean, like I said, Zion as an 88 is fine. You know, you just need to stay healthy. If he can stay healthy, he could really be like a 92 overall. Maybe even 95. We'll see. 
Zion is a great player. Like, I watched him in back when he was in Duke or whatever. He was really good, man. I've been a huge Zion fan. Stay healthy. You know, stay in shape. He's fine. Trust me. And there were new skinny picks. The skinny picks to Zion. Looking like he's going to stay healthy. We'll see. But Sabonis is an 88. It's fine. You know, not much more than that. Fox. I feel like Fox could be a 90. I mean, I feel like he could be in Trey Young. Maybe Tyrese Maxey. You know, he, he could be a 90. Um, Bam out of bio is an 88. Bam should definitely be higher than 80 at this point. I mean, it's 2K being lazy, man. It should be at, definitely be higher than 88. A 90... Maybe even a 92 for Bam is fine. I wouldn't call him overrated or underrated, but a 90 is fine. Maxi, I think he could be a 90 overall, man. Maxi's a bucket. Trey Young is an 89. I mean, Trey Young didn't really have the best end to this season, but like I said, a 90, 92 could be fine. Paul George is an 89. Paul George is good. And I feel like keeping him as a 90 overall is fine, like I said. Paul Bancaro, you know, uh, he. Definitely should be an all-star. I think he was. Was he? I don't know. But Ben Carroll, I guess, 89 is cool. It should be higher. Now, the Heat and Jimmy Butler is really confusing, man. I remember one time he was like at 95 overall. Now he went down to an 89. So I guess that could be respectable for him, I guess. Um, 89 overall. You know, he's not the best regular season player. It's a playoff player. We all know that. And Dame as an 89 is fine until he proves he can play with the winning team, the Milwaukee Bucks. And now we got 20 through 11. So, John Morant as a 90, bro. We're going to see the real John Morant. Trust me. He's up there in Anthony Edwards discussions, man. Ja at a 93 is fine. I mean, like I said, cast to prove a little bit, but I feel like a 93 is fine for Ja. It could be 85 by the end of the season. No, 95, 95, you know. And then um, um we got Tyrese Hollenburn is at 90. It's fine. Holly's a good player, you know. I in season tournament, Holly was good. I think stopped by the Lakers. After that, he wasn't good. I mean, he was good. Now, Halliburton is a good player. Let me stop. But a ninety is fine. I'm just say that. Victor Wimbanyama has a ninety one. I mean, bro, like I, I free man. I mean, he came out as an eighty four, and the two K has like what a eighty eighty eight something like that. Now he went up even more to a ninety two. I mean, ninety one. I guess, but I don't, I don't be starting to think it's, it might be too much. I mean, at, at one point, it might be too much, you know. I don't know, but we'll have to see. Kawhi Leonard is 92. is fun. Kawhi, um, he, just needs, he needs to prove the most. I just can't lie with you. And then Kyrie Irving is a 92. We all know Kyrie can get you a bucket. He's a really good finisher on the rim. One of the best ball handlers of all time, if not the best. So a 93, I'm going to say a 93 overall for Kyrie Irving, in my opinion. Jalen Brown has a 92. Jalen Brown could definitely be up there in, like, you know, Devin Booker discussions. Donovan Mitchell, 100%. So I'm putting JB as, like, a 93, 94. Yeah, we got Donovan Mitchell as a 92, I guess. That'll be fine. And then Jalen Brunson as a 93. Yeah, Brunson should be a 95. I'm sorry, but Brunson's just that good, man. Brunson's a 95. Then Devin Booker as a 93 is fine. And then Anthony Edwards, he's a 93. He was a 95 in 2K24. Why did he go down? Are we serious, 2K? How did Ant get worse? You know what? Whatever. Now we got the best one yet. The top 10 NBA 2K's top 10 overall ratings. Let's look at them. Hiding off with 10, Anthony Davis is 84. This is the most respectable one I've seen so far. So it's already looking like 2K has a 80 has a 84, which is amazing. Uh, I said, it's already looking good. This top 10 list better not be bad. So 80 has a 84. It's absolutely amazing as a Lakers fan. W, man. And then we got, oh, no. As soon as I say this game is going to be, the overall is going to be good. We got KD at 9, a 94. Let me rant for a second, bro. KD as a 94. Is Jason Tatum better than Kevin Durant? No, who got playing to? No, but still, dude, like, come on, man. We got to be got something serious. LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry. You don't win without one of LBJ, Steph, or KD. I'm sorry to say it, but Team USA doesn't win with all three of them anyway. A 94 is disrespectful, dude. Uh, Jason Tatum coming out as an 85 is fine. And then we have we, Stephen Curry as a 95. I mean, like, 
it was a 96. So put, I'm no, we're we're facing Kevin Durant to a 96. We're fixing Stephen Curry to a 96. Curry should be a 96. LeBron has a 95. I mean, like I say he's 40. That's a very good accomplishment. Being 95 overall, 40 years old. But how did he go down? What did what did LeBron Curry and KD do to go down overall? Especially Kevin Durant. I feel terrible for him, man. LeBron, Steph, KD. 96. That's simple. That's simple. Joel and B is a 96. It's fine as well. I, I miss I miss one being a 96 on base to mean something. Like, look at this, dude. Shea has a 96. It's cool as well. Then Giannis has a 97. Giannis should be a 98. I'm just being serious, man. Like, the way Giannis has been playing, Giannis is a 98. No doubt in my mind. Luka Doncic also be a 98 overall, in my opinion. Like he's, I feel like he's the best player in the league. I feel like he could be. Like if he would have won the championship, easily the best player in the league. And Nikola Jokic, you know, Jokic he could be a ninety nine, but I guess we'll say as an eighty, not ninety eight. But man, I yeah, useful being a ninety six or race to mean something. But that'll be the end of it. Hope you guys enjoyed me reacting to it. If you want to see more videos like this, we should like, like, and subscribe. Drop a like, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next. And I'll hope you have a great, hope you have a great day. See you guys next time. Peace.